Ari and I am back with another video. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Ari L and I do skincare, makeup, um, body care reviews, and I also have a vlog channel so don't forget to look in the description box and go subscribe to my vlog channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Um, today, as you can see in the title, we are going to be talking body care, something I am pretty obsessed with. And we're just going to go over what my current faves are right now. Um, I feel like I have a lot, but we're just going to go over like some of my, my main staples. And then maybe later on, we'll kind of go over some more stuff. We'll see. It felt so good today, you guys, and I felt so bad that me and the kids, they had to do schoolwork, I had to work. I mean, it's a typical weekday, so even if we weren't on shutdown right now, we could still be in school and at work, so, but it's just so much more tempting because we're at home, but it's not like we could do anything. Um, but we did get out after I got done with work and we got some raking done and yeah, it felt really, really good. Had the music playing, um, the kids complained the whole way through, <laughs> but I do have a surprise coming for all of us next week for the backyard. So, um, that's one of the main reasons that we got out there and got it cleaned up. Not done yet because I have to get more bags for the leaves. But um, when I do get those, then we'll finish and hopefully we'll have a nice yard to relax in since we're going to be stuck in the house for who knows how long. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and check this out. Alright guys, so first we're going to start with the utensils that I use. And I feel like you guys have seen some of this stuff. Um, cause I did do a body care video a few years ago. It's probably been about two or three years ago, maybe. Um, could be longer than that. But this is one of the towels that I use. It's an exfoliating towel. I got this from either, uh, Meyer or Target. I can't remember. But I'm sure they sell them everywhere. You can probably find it on Amazon. Um, it's like the texture of a loofah. But it's in a towel form. So all I do is kind of ball it up, squirt the um, shower gel on there, and just get to scrubbing. And of course, let me scrub your back. And I like to get in between toes. So yeah, that's one of the things that I use. I also use my exfoliating gloves. These have been through it. So I do need a couple more pairs, but they get washed pretty frequently. Um, but I don't even know if you can see, but they're kind of tearing up now. But yeah, so that's another thing I use. I like how convenient they are. You just throw them in your hands, throw the soap, show you guys, throw the soap in there, squidge it, squidge it, squidge it, and just rub all over your body. Last but not least, everybody knows a loofah. I use a loofah from time to time. I really don't find that I get much use out of this because I use my exfoliating towel, but I do use it every now and then. Um, but those are the things that I use. Um, I also use, I don't have it in front of me, um, a pumice stone for my feet just to make sure that they're nice and soft. Um, so that's perfect for in the shower, like especially if you don't feel like giving yourself a foot bath or something like that, soaking your feet. Just take it in the shower, scrub your feet and go. Um, so we've got the utensils down. Oh, I also use a little brush, but I'm not doing over hair care in this video because this video would be way too long. Um, but I do use a brush to kind of detangle my hair when I wash it. Um, next we will get to the soaps and body washes. Ladies, 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 everybody has their own different routine. Um, so for me, when I want to get clean and I have sensitive areas, what I like to use is the Dove Sensitive. Um, some people like to just rinse. I can't do it. I can't. I have to have some kind of soap. Um, so of course, you don't go inside, but this is what I use. I actually use it all over my body. Um, when I um, wash up first, I'll use it all over and um, this, as you can see, 
I buy in bulk. I think I actually have two packs of these. Um, hygiene is something that I obsess over. So while everybody's obsessing over toilet paper and all that for um, this quarantine, I'm obsessing over body care. So I have a ton of dust sensitive. Like I said, I use it all over my body and of course my sensitive areas. And um, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't dry me out or anything like that. So for those of you wondering what to use, that's something that I use and it works for me. But um, I don't use anything with any scents down there. And especially um, like some of those, I did, I did use some of those um, feminine washes before. And it didn't bother me, but at the same time, I felt like I was doing more for myself by doing less, which is using the dose sensitive. Um, next, what I also use, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys three of these. It's the body washes, and I had two current favorites <clears throat> that I wanted to show you guys. But then I kind of went on a shopping therapy binge for this quarantine and started going a little insane. So this is what I was using, um, which was the Olay Daily Exfol Exfoliating Body Wash with Sea Salts. And I love the way this stuff smells. It smells so good. It's, it's like... You know those oceany scents, but it's kind of like fruity in a way. Yeah, I think I would say it's slightly fruity, but it has that oceany scent and it just smells so good. It smells good in the bottle, but it smells even better once you start washing. So that's one of my um, my go-tos. Next we have the Olay, as you can see I like Olay. <laughs> Next we have the Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus. This is the Shea and Manuka Honey Body Wash. This one also smells amazing. Love this. This is one of the last ones I was using before I started using, again, the um, Olay with the sea salts. Um, but this one, this is a softer scent. Mm, it's, it's hard to even describe this one, but it just smells so good. It smells like heaven. It's really, really, really hard to describe. I mean, I guess you could say honey, but I don't know what, what else to describe it as, but it's really good. These both are very moisturizing. They don't dry my skin out. Love them both. Lastly, we have... Now, I was going through my linen closet the other day, and I forgot I was looking for something, and I came across this lotion that had been sitting in there, and I forgot all about it. And so, I just happened to take a sniff, and I'm like, why did I stop buying this? What, what happened? Did I forget? So, this is the Soap & Glory Rich & Famous Body Wash. And once I smelled it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go back and buy some more. <laughs> Mind you, these two other body washes were already on the way. Yeah. It smells so like, mm, like cookies or something. It smells so good. It smells like cookies. And I love to smell like a snack, you know. It smells so nice. So... I had to buy that. That's what I've been using the last couple of days. Um, but then I said, you know, I'm going to go back to my originals because I'm just going to save that for when quarantine's over, when I'm going out somewhere because it just smells so good and this makes me smell so good. Sorry. I, like I said, I tend to obsess over body care. Um, so next we are going to go to the moisture. Oh, you know what? No, I forgot something. This should be next. This is the Tree Hut Bear Moisturizing Shave Gel, and, or Shave Oil, I'm sorry. And this is, I don't know what scent it is, because it's different from the one that I was using before. 
There's one that's in a blue bottle, which I also like. Um, I think I like it better than this one. I like the scent better. But I love this stuff to shave with. Um, it's just, you slap it on whether you are dry or wet. You just put this on and you start to shaving and it's great. Um, I really don't see myself getting too many cuts with this stuff. Um, but it's just so simple too. Instead of um, having some messy shower gel or something, you just throw some oil on swipe and you're good and um even though sometimes i feel the need to reapply like shave gel and shaving cream stuff like that i don't really feel the need to apply this reapply this so this is amazing i love this this is my second bottle of this like i said i like the one in the blue bottle better so i was just trying this one out i got it on amazon and i never smelled it so i was just trying it out next we are going to go to Sorry, my kids are back in there playing the game, so they're a little loud. Next, we have the deodorant, the antiperspirant. This is the Dove Advanced Care in Rose Petals. Um, it says Nutrium Plus 48 Hour um, Antiperspirant. I've never worn an antiperspirant for 48 hours because I tend to take a shower, so I know to touch that stuff out but it is a very good this is what i use before bedtime um i don't really use like the thick deodorants um when i'm going out or anything like that so i use this at bedtime um i know technically when we buy the deodorant it says to put it on at night um i put it on at night in the morning so i'm i'm a sweater now i'm a sweater so yes my name is ariel and i said um, next, we have the Dove Dry Spray Antiperspirants, and this is the Caring Coconut and Beauty Finish. I love them both. This is the one I've been using uh, more of lately, um, but I actually love them both. This one's a more softer scent. This is a little bit sweeter, I think, on, a little bit on the sweeter side. Um, but like I said, this one's a little softer. This is a more powdery finish, I think. Um, so that's, that's what you're looking for. This one's perfect, but this one actually kind of smells a little bit like the rose advanced um dove advanced care um so i started off using this and i bought this because the store didn't have this one but i actually fell in love with it so i love these both and this is what i put on in the morning um last but not least you know i think i kind of skipped a step we're going to go to the shower scrub or body scrub I should say um, this is the soap and glory smoothie star it's the oat sugar and shea breakfast scrub it says with organic I'm gonna butcher this. organic kupukua bio scrubs banana almond and honey extracts and it says great great maple scent um I'm not gonna say this is my favorite. It does smell good, but I don't. I think the maple kind of throws it off. I think they thought it was a good idea, but the maple just kind of throws it off. And I bought this one because it said Smoothie Star, so I thought it was gonna smell like the body wash and the um, um, the lotion that goes with it. But it doesn't. It has that maple scent, and it just kind of throws everything off for me. Um, but I tend to put my lotion on after, so. Hopefully, I don't still smell like syrup, pancakes. I don't want to smell like pancakes. And last but not least, we have the Smoothie Star Body Milk, the lotion um, by Soap and Glory. And it says the scent is almond and vanilla. I'm guessing the body wash is the same scent. Yep, yeah, almond and vanilla. vanilla. This lotion you guys smells so good it smells just like the body wash but it just smells so good <laughs> and i also have the smoothie star lightly whipped body butter cream um this one it says it's formulated with vanilla and coconut um pistachio almond and sweet vanilla fragrance this one it smells like the other one it's just a little little different but 
it does smell really good as well. I think I prefer the body milk and the body wash because their scent uh, just smells so much sweeter. So I really, I mean, I love them both, especially when you pair them together. I do, <laughs> I don't know if you guys do this, but what I do is I have what I call an arm lotion and a leg lotion. Don't know if I sound crazy when I say that, but yeah. So this is what I use on like my arms and my upper body and then the body milk is what I use on my legs, my feet, all that. Um, but yeah, I have arm and leg lotion. So like I said, I don't know if you guys do that, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know how crazy I sound because I feel like I sound crazy, but I feel like I also sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, that was the end of the video. Let me know if you guys have tried these products and how you would rate them. Because for me, these are like all almost tens. Almost tens. <laughs> but let me guys know what you guys are using. If you have some recommendations for me, I have been going crazy and I'm trying to cut back. But who knows? Maybe if you guys recommend something for me, I may have to go out and try it. I don't know. But again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my doves.